ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار اما بعد my brothers and my sisters young and old allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us regarding himself he said about himself ghafiri dhanbi wa qabil at-tawbi wa shadid al-iqab dhi at-tawl la ilaha illa huwa ilayhi al-masir he said about himself that he is the forgiver of sins acceptor of repentance severe in punishment bestower of favors there is none worthy of worship except for him and to him is the return the noble scholar sheikh al fawzan hafizahullah ta'ala he said ya ayyuhan nas ittaqullaha ta'ala bi fa'li wa awamirihi wa tarki nawa'ihi wa abduhu haqqa ibadatihi fa innahu subhanahu wa ta'ala li dhalika khalaqakum wa bi dhalika amarakum qala subhanahu wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa liya'budun he said o oh people fear allah and be dutiful to him bi fa'li awamirihi by doing that which he has commanded and to avoid that which he has prohibited wa'buduhu and and worship him haqqa ibadatihi in the manner that he deserves to be worshiped for indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you for that very purpose and with that he has commanded you as he said i did not create the jinn nor the mankind except for my worship ayyuhal mu'minun o believers indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yabtali ibadahu fi hadhihi alhayat Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he tries his servants in this life he tries them bil khairi wa sharri he tries them with good and he tries them with evil and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yabtalihim bi anwa'in min al ibtila'at and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah jalla wa ala he tries them with all different and numerous types of trials so that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may be or that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yawm al qiyama and likewise in this world that allah will distinguish between the mu'min and the munafiq between the believer and the hypocrite between the sadiq and the kadhib between the one who is truthful and between the one who is a liar for indeed 
My brothers and sisters, the person in this life, he is, fla he is faced and he is presented with many different trials and he is presented with fitan, with tribulations, with desires, with doubts, with passions and with lusts that block him and prevent him from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obedience to Allah. And these fitan, they deceive a person. They cause him to be misguided. And they cause him to turn away from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned regarding the nafsun or the nafs, the, the soul. And Shaykh al-Fawzan, he mentions that affair. Nafsun ammaratun bisu illa man rahima rabbi. That the soul itself, it entices or it incites itself. It is a persistent inciter to commit evil deeds. Except for the one who my Lord has mercy upon. So the soul, so the, soul the very heart of a person, it calls him to fulfill his desires to take that which makes him happy. So he may take from the dunya that which excites him and entertains him. And the shayateen and the devils from the, from the devils who are amongst the jinn and mankind. Yuhi ba'duhum ila ba'd zukhruf al-qawl ghurura that the shayateen from amongst the jinn and mankind, what do they do? Those shayateen, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has informed us, that we appointed for the prophets enemies. For every prophet there was an enemy. These are devils amongst mankind and jinn. Yuhi ba'duhum ila ba'ab. Each one of them inspiring the other. with speech that is fine and deceitful and beautified. So what do those devils do, my brothers and my sisters? They call the people to disobedience and to sin. They beautify for them that which is ugly. They put hatred into them of obedience to Allah, they try to turn away from it and turn you away from it by laying before you traps. Mina shahawat wa shubuhat that are presented, these lusts and desires and doubts that are presented to the people. Madama ala qaydil hayat, so long as one is alive in this world. He's in need of two affairs. He's in need of the aid and the assistance of Allah, the most perfect, the most high. What tawakkulu alayhi. And that he is reliant and trusting in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that he depends upon Allah so that Allah may protect him from the fitan and from these sins and this wickedness. And whomsoever appeals to Allah's safety, for Allah's safety, then Allah will give him safety. And whomsoever seeks refuge with Allah, then Allah will give him refuge. Upon him, 
is to have patience upon obedience to Allah was sabru and maharimillah and to be patient with that which Allah has prohibited for him. Be patient, stay away from him, stay away from those sins, from that which Allah has prohibited. For this reason, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sta'inu bis sabri wa salaa Inna Allah ma'as sabireen O you who believe Seek the aid of Allah With patience And with prayer For indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the patient We are all presented my brothers and sisters with lusts and passions and desires all around this world. And as we come closer to the day of judgment, the greater these desires are presented to us. The closer we come to the hour, the greater the fitan, the greater the trials, the tribulations, the killing, fornication, Crimes and sins. People hating other people. People who abandon the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In that time we are in need of having sabr. Upon the obedience to Allah. And being patient. With keeping away from that which the people are falling into. It's a struggle in itself to keep away from that which everybody does. Everybody listens to music, so why shouldn't I? Everyone courts women, so why shouldn't I? Everyone is promiscuous and sleeping around, so why shouldn't I? Everyone watches movies, so why shouldn't I? This is the world that we live in today. So what does the believer do? Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu O you who believe Seek the aid of Allah bis sabri was salah Seek Allah's help by being patient and by praying to Allah The times that we live in are not easy. When we listen to the hadith of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said min ashrati sa'a from the signs of the hour is that knowledge will be lifted. Ignorance will be widespread. Khamar Intoxicants will be drunk and fornication will become widespread. We are living in that time when knowledge is small, ignorance is widespread. People are involved in following their desires morning and evening. Not only do they just fall into them, by following them they go out actively seeking them. Our shabab, our youth are living in difficult times. It is upon us to teach them, to educate them, to be along with them, to support them and to support our communities in keeping away from the traps of society that lead people to disobey Allah and fall into sin. Well, Amr al-Thani and the second affair he mentioned إِذَا وَقَعَ فِي شَيْءٍ مِنَ الْمَعَاسِ وَالْمُخَالَفَاتِ فَعَلَيْهِ أَنْ يُبَادِرَ بِالتَّوْبَةِ That if he falls into something of ill, of evil, or sins from disobedience and transgressions against Allah, فَعَلَيْهِ أَنْ يُبَادِرَ بِالتَّوْبَةِ Upon him, is to rush and make haste in making tawbah. 
What Toba? As for Toba, what is the meaning of this Toba, this repentance? He said, "Arjoo ila Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, wa bi arjoo ila taatih min al maasiyatih, wa arjoo ila tariq al haq min tariq al khatai." What is this Toba? What is this repentance? It is to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to turn to Him, and then return to the obedience of Allah. From disobedience to Him, return to obedience. Return to the straight path from the path of error. And the meaning of Tawbah is Rujoo. Ar-Rujoo min al-Sharri ila al-Khayri. The meaning of repentance is to return. Return from that which is evil to that which is good. Wa-Rujoo min al-Khata'i ila al-Sawab. To return from that which is wrong to that which is right. Wa-Rujoo min al-Dhunubi ila al-Ta'at. And to return from sin to obedience of Allah. وَقَدْ أَمَرَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى عِبَادَهُ وَالْمُؤْمِنِينَ بِالتَّوْبَةِ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded His believing servants with tawbah. وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ Allah addressed the believers and he said to them, repent all of you, all of you repent. O believers, la'allakum tuflihoon, so that you may be successful. Make tawbah. Which one of us doesn't sin? Which one of us doesn't transgress from time to time? Which one of us is perfect? No one is ma'asoom. No one is free from mistakes. فَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ So make tawbah. Return to Allah. This is the meaning of tawbah. الرَّجُوعِ إِلَى اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى Return to Allah. Return from sin back to the obedience of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. فالمؤمن مهما كان من قوة الإيمان ومن الصلاح، a believer, regardless of what level the strength of his iman may be, regardless of what goodness he has، فهو بحاجة إلى التوبة، he is still in need of making توبة. No one should look at himself and say. That I have all of these righteous deeds. I do all of these good things. I give all of this sadaqa. Oh, how good I am. Oh, how long my beard. Oh, how I wear the hijab. And you think to yourself that you don't need tawbah. فالمؤمن, the believer, مهما كان من قوة الإيمان. Regardless of his level of iman, the believer is in need of tawbah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded all of the believers for that reason. And that's why the ayah mentions, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا يَا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Repent to Allah, you believers, all of you believers. Not just the sinners, all of you, جَمِيعًا. وَكَانَ نَبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ يَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ فِي الْيَوْمِ أَكْثَرْ مِنْ سَبْعِينَ مَرَّةً and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to repent to Allah more than 70 times a day. وَيُحْسِي لَهُ أَصْحَابُهُ فِي الْمَجْلِسِ الْوَاهِدِ And the Sahaba, they counted how many times the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam repented to Allah just in one sitting. 
when he would say oft and over and over again, Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilay, akthar min miyati marra. In one sitting, he would say, Astaghfirullah, I seek the forgiveness of Allah. Wa atubu ilay, and I repent to him, meaning that I return to him, seeking his pardon. وَهَذَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ And this is the Messenger of Allah. وَاللَّهُ الْمُسْتَعَانِ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَسَحْبِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف المرسلين وعلى آله وسحبه أجمعين وبعد The noble scholar Al-Allama Al-Fawzan Hafizahullah Ta'ala He said فَلَيْسَ أَهَدٌ فِي غِنًا عَنِ التَّوْبَةِ إِلَى اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى So there is not a single person who is not in need of returning to Allah in repentance وَاللَّهُ جَلَّ وَعَلَىٰ أَمَرَ بِالتَّوْبَةِ And Allah, the mighty and majestic, that He has commanded with tawbah. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا تُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ تَوْبَةً نَسُوحًا عَسَىٰ رَبُّكُمْ أَنْ يُكَفِّرَ عَنْكُمْ سَيِّئَاتِكُمْ وَيُدْخِلَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ Wherein Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O you who believe, Turn to Allah with sincere repentance. Listen to the words of Allah. Tawbatan nasuha. A sincere, true repentance. It may be that your Lord will excuse you from your sins, meaning that He will expiate them and then admit you into gardens under which rivers flow. Allah has connected tawbah to wiping away your sins and to enter into Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as He does often with the verses that were revealed or, this, or those ayat that were revealed in Medina, Allah addresses them with terms that describe you that describe those who entered into Islam. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. With this sifa of iman, Allah addresses you. Oh, you who have believed, turn to Allah with a sincere repentance. فَتَوْبَةٌ مَتْلُوبَةٌ دَائِمًا وَأَبَدًا مِنْ كُلِّ مُؤْمِنٍ وَلَا سِيَّمَا مِنْ أَسْحَابِ الْمُخَالَفَاتِ وَالْمَعَاسِي so the tawbah is something that is required. Da'iman wa abadan. Continually and at all times. From every believer and especially from those who fall into opposition of the obedience of Allah and those who fall into sins. Alayhim an yubadiru bit tawbah. Upon them is that they make haste in repenting to Allah. You don't know how long you're going to live, my brothers and sisters. None of you. You don't even know if you're going to survive till this evening. Therefore, you need to make haste with tawbah. That which is between you and Allah, repair it. Where you've disobeyed Allah, ask Allah to forgive you. Feel remorse and feel regret for what you've done. Cease committing the sin. Resolve never to return it. That's just between you and Allah. Because that is the wrong that you've done with respect to the rights of Allah. So maybe you left a prayer or you didn't pay the zakah or you didn't fast the month of Ramadan. 
or you looked at something that you shouldn't have looked at, or you listened to something of music, or you watched a movie. Ask Allah to forgive you. That's the right of Allah that you violated. Stop the sin. Feel remorse. And resolve not to return back to it. Then there is that which is an additional right. And that is the rights of the people. That which you have violated. So that's between you and Allah. Then there is that between you and the people. That you took their honor. You spoke ill of them. And this is even more so if they were scholars or people of knowledge and those involved in the da'wah. You took their rights, you took their honor. Don't wait till Yawm Al-Qiyamah. On a day when there is no, as the Prophet Sallallahu said, there is no dinar and dirham to be exchanged. You cannot go to a person, I'll give you gold, forgive me. There is no gold on Yawm Al-Qiyamah to exchange. There is only your deeds. Go to that person and seek his forgiveness. Because there's only two ways. Either he takes his right in this world or the hereafter. Or he pardons you in this life. In the hereafter, there's no exchange. There is no exchange, my brothers. Return the rights of the people. Took their wealth, give their wealth back. Took their honor, give their honor back. Seek their pardon and seek their forgiveness. Because that is the right between the people. Don't say to me, I asked Allah, I don't need to ask him. It is him that you bat bit. It is his honor that you took. It is his wealth that you took. You need to go back to him or go back to her and seek their pardon. As for that which is between you and Allah, then that is the first three. As for that which is between you and the people, that is the additional fourth. Go back and ask them to forgive you. Or give them back that which you took from them. This is the deen of Allah. This is not a game. If you turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turning to you and forgiving you. Allah is the one who is tawwab. That he is the one who accepts repentance. This is the meaning of At-Tawwab. As Allah said, وَإِنِّي لَغَفَّارٌ لِمَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا ثُمَّ اهْتَدَى Allah said, I am forgiving. وَإِنِّي لَغَفَّارٌ From the names of Allah, Al-Ghaffar. I am forgiving. لِمَنْ تَابَ To the one who repents. وَآمَنَ And he believes. وَآمِلَ صَالِحًا And then he works righteous deeds. ثُمَّ اهْتَدَى And then remains constant in doing that till he dies. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَأَنَا تَوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ And I am the one who constantly accepts repentance. وَالرَّحِيمُ And I am merciful to the believers. هَذَا رَبُّنَا This is our Lord. When will you turn to him and, and repent? When will you go and rectify what you have done? I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the repentant ones. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who seek his forgiveness a hundred or more times a day. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us upon straight guidance and never be negligent and inattentive of the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma ameen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad. وعلى آله وصحبه